What's up fellow horticulture enthusiasts? It's Teak and today we're going to be taking a look at the Sacred Grove Einar Memory. What are Alice Memories? These are items you can find dropped from T14 or higher maps that'll allow you to run a sequence of maps with special modifiers depending on the master they belong to. For this specific memory, it'll give us access to a juice version of the Sacred Grove. The base mods that this memory grant are areas contain the Sacred Grove, crops are larger in size, and crops contain higher tier seeds. Now the way these work is, you right click on them and then you open your atlas and you select the map to start the sequence on. It then selects three subsequent maps in the sequence. After selecting the map, you can interact with the master and select its new dialog option to open its own map device. Once you have the map device open, you can choose to modify the map before you run it. In this case, we use four chisels, an alchemy orb, and a vol orb, and then open the map. You can also use delirium orbs, but for the purpose of this video, I chose not to. The exact modifiers this gives you varies based on which map in the sequence you're running. For the first two maps, you're given four plots, and for the last two, you're given five plots. These plots each have a base tier of two, with an increasing chance to upgrade each beast to a tier three beast, and each tier three beast to a tier four beast. It's possible to get multiple bosses in the same harvest, and even possible to get multiple bosses on the same plot. Now that we've gone over all the specifics, I'll hop over to the spreadsheet and we can go over all of the juicy revenue stuff. Alright, so jumping over to the spreadsheet quickly, if you scroll down to the bottom of the spreadsheet, you can see a breakdown of each one of our maps, how many plots those maps had, how many bosses, how many sacred bo blossom those bosses dropped, as well as our life force values and our quantity and pack size. Going back to the top here, I added some orange highlights to some fields which you can adjust yourself. And to do that, you'll just hit file, make a copy, you'll make a copy to your Google account, and then you can adjust these values. So if our divines go down, let's say our divines are now worth 150 chaos, this will change all of our revenue and our profit calculations. Well, you can also adjust your total memories as well as your price per memory. You can adjust your investment costs such as chisel costs, alt costs, vol costs. And you can also adjust the revenue prices as well. So if Sacred Blossom goes up or down, you can change this field. If red changes, blue changes, yellow changes, you can adjust these values here to reflect the actual profit you'll be getting. Same thing goes with our time estimates. I added up all my times for all 12 sets and averaged them out. That was 11.76 minutes. So our total time ends up being 141.12 minutes, which breaks down to 2 hours and 21 minutes, or 2.35 hours. Our profit per hour in my case is just over 10 divines, but this will change based on your build, how fast you find the harvest, which maps you're running, etc. So if you want to adjust that, you can change this based on your time per set. All right, so now to quickly go over investment, revenue, and profits, our investment field is up here. You can see that we invested in chisels, alk, vols, as well as our memories, and that ended up being 37.48 divines, or 7,495.7 chaos. You can see here our revenue section, we ended up with eight sacred blossoms, so that's 400 C per, so that puts us at 3,200 C. For red life force, we ended up with 60,381, and that's 125th of a chaos, so it puts us at 2,415 chaos. For blue life force, that's 61,897 blue life force, which is 130th of a chaos, puts us at 2,061 chaos. For yellow, we're at 54,854, and that's 112th of a chaos, which results in 4,569 chaos. Our total revenue from Harvest alone came to 12,245.75 chaos, which breaks down to be just over 61 divine orbs. In our profit section here, you can see this is our revenue minus our investment cost. So our total chaos worth of profit is 4,750 chaos, which puts our total divines at 23.75 divines. If you scroll down here to our averages section, I broke it down by plot. So profit per plot was just, uh, just under 22 chaos. Profit per map is just under 100 chaos per map, which puts our profit per memory at just below 400 chaos. And that converts into 1.98 divine orbs per memory. 
in this section here, I included some low confidence drop rates. It needs a higher sample size to be more accurate, but this is what I encountered. So our average bosses per map were 0.85 bosses per map. Our average, uh, our approximate boss blossom drop rate was just under 20%. Our approximate map blossom drop rate was just under 17%. And as I mentioned before, that's experimental and low confidence, so take that with a grain of salt. Up here, I broke down our life force distribution. It was pretty much equal. I think if I did this over a larger sample size, it would even out a little bit more. But uh, for this purposes, I ended up with 31% of the life force I got was yellow, 34.1% uh, was red, and 349 was blue. So that pretty much does it for this one. Um, hope, you, hope this was informative. As I said before, feel free to edit these values if the market changes uh, and maybe you want to try this yourself and you want to get a better idea of how much exactly you'd be making with however many you plan to run. And that pretty much does it for this one. If you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments section. I'll also leave a link to my Discord if you want to stop by. I'm generally pretty responsive on Discord, so uh, definitely come hang out. Yeah, I appreciate you guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.